Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video on the uh, the little Peugeot Django 125. What we're going to be doing in this video is carrying out a replacement of the fuel filter. Now the fuel filter is a part that's often overlooked during the normal servicing cycle of, of any bike to, or, or car for that matter. Um, they're, often, uh, they're often overlooked and uh, don't get changed. So what we're going to do is we are going to dig into uh, the fuel filter on this bike and uh, get it swapped out. Now, if we uh, lift the seat up, pull this, uh, in fact, pop, the, pop the rear cover off and pull the, uh, pull the seat storage compartment out. And if we have a look down here at the front of the bike, right down there, you can see there's like a little white and yellowy, yellowy white cylinder, which I'm pointing my torch at right now. And that is the fuel filter. Now, as you can see, there's absolutely no way we can get down into that. So what we need to do is we need to delve into it from underneath. So let's, uh, let's get some tools out and have a look at changing the fuel filter. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, we're down underneath the uh, down underneath the bike. All we'll do, we'll pull the side stand out of the way. And what we're looking at removing is this plastic cover under here. Now, obviously, we've just got the bike on the centre stand, and you know, there's plenty of room to work. It just means you've got to get down on the floor. That's all. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not. You know, it's not too bad down here. I've got the luxury of a garage, so um, the, uh, the the floor is pretty clean. Now. What we're looking at is a couple of screws to remove this panel. One is just here, and the other one is on the other side, but we'll look at that one in a second. And the size of these screws is T25 Torx. And if we get our tool in there with a little ratchet, and we crack them off. Now bear in mind that these, there we go, these are obviously in the, uh, in a position where they get covered in all sorts of road detritus, water and dirt and all that sort of stuff. So if you're a rusty, just be, you know, bear in mind that they may uh, take a little bit of effort to get out. Now that one has got a little bit of rust on it. So what I'll do, I'll probably give it a good clean up before I refit it. And as you can see, that side of the panel is now loose. So what we'll do now, we'll go around to the other side and get the other screw out. Okay. So now we're on the, uh, the, the right hand side of the bike and here is the other screw. Uh, just the two on this panel and then uh, that one came up quite easily. Two on this panel as you can see the panel is coming away from the bike quite nicely. And there we are, right we cover that screw, put that down there and here is the panel. Um, at the front of the panel you can see there's like this little hook which actually is supposed to hook over this so when we put it back on Obviously it goes on the inside and it does hook onto the panel like so when we, uh, when we come to refit it. Obviously the inside of here is absolutely bogging. So we're giving that a good clean um, before we refit it. Right, now what we need to do is go around the other side of the bike and have a look at the fuel filter itself. Right then, so here we are with the panel removed and here is the fuel filter. Now obviously if I give it a shake, I don't know if you can see the fuel shake, uh, you know, wobbling around inside or not. I'm not sure if you can, um, but this is the fuel filter. This, I can 100% guarantee that this is the original one um, because I very much doubt that the uh, previous owner would have ever replaced this. So um, that's what we're uh, that's what we're going to be changing out. Now, this hose here, obviously, is the fuel feed hose up to the filter. Now, this is the fuel tank and this is where the, the hose comes out of the fuel tank and into the filter. So what we want to do, um, before we actually pull this filter off, is we need to uh, prevent the fuel from uh, peeing all over my uh, garage floor. Now, we will lose some, that's an, an inevitability, um, but I don't want the entire contents of the tank weeing out onto the deck. So we'll, um, 
I'm using a hose clamp here. Um, if you haven't got a hose clamp, a set of uh, pliers with an elastic band around them or a set of mole grips or something very similar will do the job just as easily. But anything you can do to uh, close this um, close this hose off will, uh, you know, will, will aid you. Um, now, this is the fuel pump. Now, this fuel pump is vacuum operated. It's not electric. Um, it's not mechanical. It's vacuum operated. So when a vacuum is drawn, it basically pulls the fuel through. Um, from the tank um, Are they great? Not really. Um, it does work to a degree However, if the if the bike's been standing for a while and there's no fuel in the line it can struggle to get fuel up to the carburetor so um, If uh, if you're having difficulties, it could be that the uh, the fuel pumps um, giving up or packing up or whatever um, so often you can find uh, you, you can find if you pull the fuel line off of the carburetor and give it a good suck You'll get a gob full of fuel um, uh, so uh, so yeah, you can and then just pop, pop the line back on the car and you'll uh, you'll be away Anyway, um, enough of the waffle what we need to do is obviously we need to uh, Pop this fuel fill off. So what I'm gonna do um, I'm going to Remove the clip where it actually goes onto the pump They're not very strong. You can actually just like I just did there. You can actually um, You can actually pull it off with your fingers now there's a little bit of fuel in the uh, in the filter itself, but um, it's not gonna it's not gonna come out because we've cre basically created a vacuum. You might get the odd drip. There you go. Um, now we'll take this clip off this side, and when I pull this off, we'll probably lose the fuel. Then there we go. And there's the fuel coming out. So let me get the hose off of the other side now check these hoses because if they are perished then they'll need to be replaced um, these ones look okay uh, the clips look a little bit rusty but they're doing their job um, they're uh, they're not too bad um, but yeah this is just a tiny little piece of rubber hose now don't go to uh, don't go to Peugeot for something like that because I can guarantee that tiny piece of rubber hose there will cost you about five quid from Peugeot, whereas that tiny piece of rubber hose will cost about five or six pence from any motor factors. It's just a generic hose. All you need to know is the inside diameter uh, and, and you're away. So um, there we go. Right. Now, one thing to note on a fuel filter is they are directional and at some somewhere. Oh, there we go. Right there. You can see there's an arrow. Now, that is the, uh, the direction of flow. So obviously it should go on that way. It's the direction of flow from the tank. So any all, all oil for um, not oil filters, sorry, all fuel filters will have um, a direction of flow arrow because otherwise they won't work as they uh, as they should. So let me go and grab the uh, new filter and we can check it out. So here is our new filter. Now this is not a genuine Peugeot item um, because. They wanted daft money for what is essentially a piece of plastic with some gauze inside. Um, but this is uh, this is um, cheap, uh, a cheap eBay one, um, but uh, it, is, it is designed for this bike, both this bike, the Speed Fight 2, uh, which is over in the back of the garage. Um, and yeah, it'll, uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a fine replacement. Now what we're looking for on here, we can see the arrows for the direction of flow. So we need to make sure that we get it in the right way, just like so. And then secure the clip. Take our other piece of tube. Again, secure the clip. And then all we need to do is fit it onto the fuel pump and we're away. Oh, on you go. <coughs> there we are. So that's that on. In fact, looking at it, I think I've actually fitted that piece of pipe the wrong way and the clips are a different size. Yeah, I did. So if I turn that around, yeah, that feels better actually, a lot better. So there we go. I'm going to pop that in back on and 
there we are ah, that's better that feels like it fits better there we go so now we've got all the clips in and now what we can do is we can release the clamp on the fuel line and there we are and tuck that back up there right what we need to do next obviously is um pop the cover on but what i'm going to do before we pop the cover on i just want to make sure everything's okay what we want to do is we want to pull some fuel through make sure that the the, the fuel will flow uh, and that the bike will run so we'll uh, we'll get it fired up next and uh that's what uh, what we'll do but bear in mind when you try and fire the bike up there's no fuel in the line whatsoever and the pump's got to do its job to pull the fuel through so what i'm going to do i'm probably going to suck a bit through um manually up to the carburetor just to uh, just to help uh, give the starter motor an easier time otherwise it'll be cranking for ages so let's uh, let's head up top and uh, do that next okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to fire the bike up make sure she runs um obviously she she will have some fuel still in the float bowl from the last time she ran so it should fire up pretty much straight away then what will happen is the vacuum pump will kick in when when the vacuum's drawn from the manifold um, and that should suck more fuel through from from the tank thereby filling the fuel filter so we shouldn't get to a point where it struggles to run um there may be a little there a little bit of air in there but that'll work its way out so let's um let's try it uh i did yeah obviously making sure you kick the gear the side stand up otherwise it won't uh, won't work Okay, so there we are. First touch of the button. A little bit. That, there we are. Uh, yeah, she's, she's fine now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it to run for five minutes, and then uh, I'm gonna come back and uh, stick the panels back on, and then we can call the job back. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll give it five minutes, and I'll bring you back. Yeah, she's been running for about five minutes and she's all gold. Um, yeah, absolutely, uh, absolutely fine. So what we're going to do next, get back underneath, pop that panel back on. Okay, so here we are back under the bike. Now I've got the panel here. I've given it a bit of a clean. Uh, and as you can see, um, it looks a lot better than it did before. Now, um, the front end of this panel goes inside this fairing and that little hook hooks on the outside so that's important to remember so let's get her in position like so and make sure that the hole at the back here for the screw just here lines up here's the screw here's the tool so what I'll do if I pop the screw in again if you want to you can add a bit of anti-seize onto these just to help in the future. And then just knit that one up. Right, that's this side. I'll um, spare you the uh, a video of the other side, we know where it is, so I'll pop that one in and then we'll head back up top for a, uh, for a final thoughts. So guys, there we are. That is the fuel filter replaced. On the uh, on the Peugeot Django, and as you saw, it is not a particularly challenging task, and it's easily achieved with a Torx bit and a couple of pairs of pliers. Um, and uh, yeah, you're golden. Um, very very easy. It's just a little bit awkward the fact that it's underneath the bike. If it was able to be uh, accessed through the uh, through the seat pocket, it would probably be a lot easier. But uh, yeah, that's not the case. Um, what I'll do, I will leave a link to the fuel filter that I bought to fit to this bike in the description below. So go and check that out. It is an affiliate link. So if you uh, if you do buy from it, um, the channel gets a tiny kickback. And obviously that all goes back into uh, creating more content. So uh, yeah, th uh, so yeah, please bear that in mind. Um, hope, you, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I will have uh, a few more videos with the Django coming soon. So uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe like and feel free to leave a comment guys and i will see you all again very very soon take care bye bye now